if we hadn't been innovative, we would have driven the country in the direction that was going then of more subsidies, greater debt, more confusion, and the whole of that space. Let me say this for the record, confidently for the record, that the purpose of the G2G agreement, the government to government, and I have talked to MBS and MBZ, the two leaders of UAE and Saudi, and they have gone out of their way to support our country. The success of each and every one of us is going to be our collective success. And the failure of any one of us here is also going to affect our overall success. So we need to make sure that we carry everybody along, we support one another, and we make sure that each and every one of us succeeds. It is my intention to support each and every one of you in whatever it is that you are doing. I am available for consultation. I am available for advice. We can share ideas and we can consult on many of the issues that come your way as you discharge your mandate in the state departments that you run, in the ministries that you are charged with. Public participation now is not just a sterile provision in the Constitution. It is a live instrument of governance. And therefore, whatever it is that we do, because ultimately it's about the people, we must get the people to speak to it. So public participation in whatever we do, whether we are working on legislation, whether we are working on policy, whether we are working on regulations, is mandatory and it is healthy and it is important so that we can carry the people of Kenya along as we implement whatever programs that we have, whatever regulations or policies or pieces of legislation that we are carrying out in our various uh, departments. To follow through some of the decisions that we have made, some of our programs, and to make sure that our manifesto becomes the single guiding instrument of governance that we have, especially when we are running government programs, I have established the Office of Execution in my office to make sure that we execute every agreement, every uh, decision that we have made, we see to it that it gets to conclusion. So Adan Mohammed will be knocking on your doors to ask you about this decision, how far are we, and he will be doing it on my behalf because, as you know, I regularly engage with you to find out how far we are going. Now there will be a tracker in my office on every commitment that we have made, every decision that we have made, and uh, we will want to make sure that we discharge ourselves of any commitment that we have made in the manifesto or in the course of doing our business.